Hello and welcome to our class. Today we we'll learned what is the dashboard and the living demo for the dashboard. First topic, what is dashboard? In previous class, we learned Kubernetes core resources, pod, replica site, deployment, service, configuration map, and uh, secrets. I did about resource, create, delete, edit, our command line interface, kubectl in living demo. Also, Kubernetes provide a web-based user interface, Kubernetes dashboard to manage all above resource and more. Dashboard deploys with minimum RBAC configuration by default. Dashboard supports login with the bear token. In Minikube, use proxy to open dashboard in your default browser. Next topic, demo for the dashboard. Dashboard is an add-on in Minikube to retrieve all the add-ons in your Minikube run Minikube add-ons list command. By default, dashboard is disabled. Minikube add-ons enable dashboard. The command is able to enable Minikube dashboard. Next, to collection CPU and memory usage, I have to enable Minikube matrix server and then restart the Minikube. Start Minikube. Start to enable the add-ons. Check add-on list again. Dashboard enabled. Matrix server enabled. Apply the YAML file from Lian training repository. The YAML file is able to create pod, replica site, deployment, service, configuration map, and secrets, which we learned previous class. Also add a naming space for the alt resource. I'll go through the alt resources in the dashboard UI. Minikube dashboard. The command is used to create a proxy and open the dashboard in your default browser without the bear token input. Firefox is my default browser. The UI has three parts. First part, top area. The drop-down include all the naming space. KDS minor training. That's what created my YAML file. Search, find all the resource. Left part is a navigation menu. Right part, resource content. Select KDI's training naming space. Workload is overview UI. As deployment, pods, replica site, service, configuration map, secrets, Store classes. I go through this uh, resource from top to bottom in the navigation menu parts. Deployments. Spring Boot demo deployments has three parts one, replica site. Replica site declare three parts. Part information. All the parts created by replica site. There is a CPU usage and a memory usage. The two usage information are coming from matrix server, which one we enabled before. Click the link, go to pulse detail. Note information, conditions, control by replica side. 
event. Event is an important resource when you debug. For example, if you put incorrect image information, pulling image event will fail. In the container side, there's a link for the configuration map and secrets. When you click the link, you will be go to the configure map section. In the top, there's an icon able to show in pause log. There's a pause log. Spring Boot start up successfully. Next, EXEC icon. Click the icon can open a shell command window in the pod. Spring Boot deployment pod. Run command env to retrieve environment parameters. The environment parameters are from three resources, configuration map, secret, and Kubernetes. Replica site in there. Replica site menu has replica site information. Service, Spring Boot demo service. The Spring Boot demo service also had endpoint information. Three IP address mapping to each pod. Next, configuration map. Environment config created by YAML file. Secrets, key value secrets, also created by my YAML file. The plus icon support created resources from the UI. There are three types. First, directly force type created from input. That means I can input JSON or YAML format content to create a resource. Second type, support upload JSON or YAML file to create a resource. Latest type, there is a wizard to create a resource. By the way, if you want to delete a resource, you can go to each content. In the right top corner, there is a trash bin icon. Click the icon is able to delete the current resource. For my suggestion, use the YAML file to delete all your created resources is by the way because YAML file is able to delete multiple resources in one command. Today we learned what is a dashboard and how to enable access dashboard in the mini cube. And then we go through the dashboard UI. Thank you for watching. See you in the next time.